Hey everybody, Josh here. Uh, I wanted to share some thoughts on slicers and timelines in Excel. If you have ever used these, they are essentially like the filters of Excel. They allow you to filter pivot tables, which allow you to build dynamic dashboards or dynamic data that can be updated using essentially a little filter menu. Uh, awesome, love them, really powerful tool. But if you've ever tried to update the style, update how they look, the menu to do that is just a mess. It's really confusing. On Mac, it's basically impossible. All you can do is update the background colors for the most part. On PC, you can do the changes, but it's really confusing. You have multiple states for each button that you have to update, and the result is never super intuitive. It doesn't look quite the way you expect when you do it, and you're going to have to try multiple times. You'll, you can spend hours just editing the style of a single slicer. So there's an easier way. And when people ask me about this, I tell them, just don't try to edit it yourself unless you have a ton of time. Instead, find an example you like. Do a Google search for slicer examples, timeline examples, or for dashboard examples that include slicers and timelines. Find one you like, copy it, hit Control C, Apple C on the uh, slicer that you, or timeline that you like, go to your own document, navigate over to your own document and paste it in. And when you do that, what happens under the slicer menu, all of a sudden there's gonna be a new section called custom, and that custom section will include the style. And you can apply it to all your own slicers, and then you can go back and delete the one that you've copy pasted in. So it's an easy way to take a slicer style you like and apply it in your own document. This is way easier, way faster. It's gonna save you a ton of time. Um, and there's lots of great examples out there if you do some Googling. What I'm doing is I'm building this kind of like this super super workbook that's just slicers. And this is just a reference people can use in their own projects. They can come in, copy paste any of these out, and use them in their own document. Um, it's a little bit more extensive than you'll find anywhere else online. So you just have more options. And I'll be adding this as I see new styles I like, I'll be adding them to this doc. Uh, I'm gonna send this out on my newsletter. I'll send out a free copy sometime later this week. So if you wanna join the newsletter, there's a link below. I'll also probably upload it on my site at some point so that people can buy a copy for cheap. Um, and honestly, I think this is one of the more useful things I've made in Excel. It seems so silly uh, and so simple, but it just it is the quickest way to, uh, to get filters that actually match the style of what you're doing by far. And like I said, like I, I have spent hours trying to get filters to look exactly the way that I want or get slicers to look exactly the way that I want. And I just wish somebody had created a doc like this back when I first was doing that. Um, so that's it for now, everyone. Thanks so much. I hope that's helpful. It saves you some time. Um, feel free to tune back in. I'll be posting more videos like this in the future. You can subscribe, you know, like this video if you found it helpful. And uh, I look forward to sharing more uh, slicer and timeline styles with you sometime soon. Have a good one. Bye.